Hi, Future Peachy here. Just wanted to tell you that I am irrationally angry in this audio recording, and I realize that now. (laughs) But it was my true feelings about this fictional show that I got irrationally angry over. Also, I pop my knuckles at this timestamp. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? It's Peachy. I was sick and now I'm not sick. Thank fucking God. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Because I've never talked about Tale of a Thousand Stars before, for warning, I'm going to cuss a lot in this video because literally this is going to be unedited. I just need to scream about my emotions because it's been about four hours since I've watched seven and eight. Yes, I was behind and I'm still literally... (laughs) I'm going to punch a fucking wall. I'm going to punch a wall. I'm so mad. I'm so frustrated. I, I'm going to punch every fucking villager in that fucking stupid town. Okay. And I'm going to for sh- Oh, I'm going to kick poof on the fucking balls. <sighs> okay. So yeah, I watched seven and eight. Okay. I watched seven and eight, but really I need to talk about eight. Okay. Oh, man. Well, and seven. Fuck it. First off, when I saw the doctor was digging into Tien's background and shit, I was like, okay, mind your business. Hey, hey, doctor, mind your business. Love you. I really like your character, but actually go suck it. Like, why are you digging up this shit? And I'm pretty sure most of the things you did were like super fucking illegal. (laughs) Like, I don't know, man. Because, like, seriously, like, Tian isn't even supposed to know that, like, Tofan is, like, his heart do- donor. I, I It sounded like, at least the beginning of the show, that, like, it was the normal not to know who they were. And even then, like, I've had people in my life, like, personal experience have had transplants. Like, you can send a letter to, like, their family and things like that, but you still, like, don't know their name. Like, you don't know exactly who they are. So I'm just like, dude, why would you be assuming that he knew that in the first place, you know? I mean, he did, but you know, that's, it's besides the point. It's besides the point. And then, oh, oh, sorry. That was my fingers. I'm mad. <laughs> when Poofa started going through Tien's shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I was, I was like on cloud nine with their cute little moments. Him moving back in with like, or moving in with Pufa. And I'm sorry if I'm not saying Pufa's name right. Because literally he's called Chief the whole time. But I feel weird calling him Chief. Like that's his name. So if I'm not saying his name right. Like seriously. I guess you can correct me. <laughs> but yeah. Like it was so freaking cute. It was so cute. Even though the face washing was like an ad. Like so cute. Like. Dude. They were making progress man. We were making progress. But I'll get back to the sweet things after I finish ranting about this fucking series. I've recorded, I think, twice things for this series. And I haven't posted it. The first time because, like, the audio fucked up. And I was like, okay, fuck it. I'll just record, like, you know, my thoughts and stuff about it next week. And then next week I recorded it. And I got copyright claimed because I put videos, I put clips in the video. But, like... That was, like, a little bit ago, and, like, now I don't care. Like, I would have just kept it up, but I don't know. Copyright claim, like, the the whole phrase freaked me out at the beginning of, like, all this shit. (laughs) Now I don't care, but... Because it's not a strike, you know? And, yeah. But, anyways, I deleted that video. (laughs) But I have been keeping up with it, and... Man, I don't think... I was probably this angry at the beginning of the series when all the villagers were just being assholes. Like I get it. Like Tien was like an asshole before, you know what I mean? But he was trying his fucking hardest, you know, like obviously he's from the city, but he's still in your fucking town, like trying his best. And they're just like, yeah, we're going to throw you to the wolves, even though obviously you've never taught before, but like you better figure it out, bitch. But if you don't, we're going to get mad at you. Oh, I'm sorry. Like these people were literally using your fucking villagers and taking advantage of them. I'm going to say something, but you're the bad guy because now they won't sell us stuff. And then Tian's like, okay, I'm fixing the problem. And then, then they burn down the fucking school. And still it's like, man, what the fuck? But you know, the thing that got me the worst was when Tian finally mm, had the courage 
to tell the, the villagers that he had Tofan's heart. Okay, first off, okay, fuck, uh, <laughs> fuck, I, <laughs> I just forgot his fucking name. Fuck the chief. Fuck him for coming up and, like, starting shit when, like, obviously, like, Tien was, like, already had to build up this courage to say this. Second, um, bitch, why is everyone fucking mad, especially any of the people that are in, like, their military thing? Because they all knew Tofan was dead. They all knew it. They should have been hiding that from the fucking villagers in the first place. They're not all children. I get maybe not telling the children, but tell the fucking adults, man. They're fucking adults. You know what I mean? Like, why are you hiding it from them? Like, there's still humans living in society in the 21st century. Like, they can fucking handle it. Like, I'm obviously, like, death is death and death is bad. Obviously. But I'm saying, like, it's annoying to me that, like, Tien is getting all, like, the flack for, like, telling them. Like, like it's his fault. And, okay, the stupid bitch. I don't know why he said, and I'm, I'm the one who, like, killed her, basically, or whatever. Like, obviously... Like, I get it. Like, he he really should have worded it differently or explained what he meant by that. I know they didn't give him a chance, but he really shouldn't have worded it like that. But still, it pisses me off with the villagers because it's like, I don't know the laws in Thailand, okay? I don't know the laws in Thailand. But you think if <laughs> you think if you hit and ran over and murdered somebody that you're not going to be in jail, like, why would he even be there? Obviously, like... He was not to blame for the situation. So, like, really, if they use, like, any kind of fucking logic in any of their damn brains, like, they would know that. I'm sorry I'm being really aggressive, but, like, I'm so sick and tired of, like, Tian trying his fucking best and nobody appreciating him. And then Poi Fun, like, oh, shit. F parf fuck it. Fuck it. The chief. I'm, like, so, like, frazzled that I can't even think of names. The chief. You would think he would be the like the only person, you know, like sticking by his side. Like, what the fuck? His like attitude, his 180. Honestly, it felt a little out of character to me. But, you know, they did what they did. What the fuck ever. And I'm mad about it. <laughs> I'm like, how can you be so fucking heartless? Like, obviously, it's not the full story. Like, you say you love this person. You say like you care about them. And you don't want them to leave and you want them to fucking live with you. But you're not going to give them two seconds to explain themselves. You know what I mean? Like, it's some bullshit. And you know who I fucking love? I love Long Tae. I love Long Tae. I will literally, I want to shrink him down and put him in my pocket. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to go put him on a pedestal of first place for the best fucking character in this fucking show besides Tian. Because everyone can go, fuck off. <laughs> like, he was upset when he first heard it, right? But he heard Tian out. I was confused, though, when Tian was telling everybody that he had Torfun's heart. I was like, wait, why is Long Tae mad all of a sudden? Like, he's literally already said this to him. But I guess it was the whole point of, like, oh, he, like, basically said he, like, murdered him, murdered her or, like, he was the one that did it. Which, again, is just illogical. But whatever. It's a, it's a drama. I get it. But I was like, okay, so he's mad now, too. But still, he was, again, the only person who went up to him. I know he had to get like a good pep talk from Karma, but like still he went to Tien and heard him out. And that's why things were okay. Like everybody else should do. Or is nobody an adult in this fucking town? Oh man. Okay. All right. Yes. Then we get to the bullshit that is <laughs> Okay. Well, first first thing. I find it <laughs> It's not funny, but I'm like, it's just like maybe a little flaw in like the storyline. It's like Tian's literally almost left this town like three times. And now the time that honestly, like if I was him, I'd be like, I gotta go. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> like, I don't know how, if I was in his situation, like how much I could fucking handle of that. God, that just negative energy. Like it literally makes me like, I like, I'm like, I tear up when I'm watching this shit. Like I can't imagine i'm a pisces okay i can't handle that negativity you know what i mean but i'm like it's just funny like the one time he like he has enough reason and like stuff like that to actually leave that he's like no i can't leave i have to go count stars still or whatever i have to go make the wish and i'm like okay bro but you didn't think about that the three other times but you know okay besides the point it's really not that big of a deal but that popped into my head when I was watching the show. 
And you know, of course, when like the main couple is in a fight, someone's about to get fucking shot or die or get injured or something dramatic and scary is going to happen. And of course, you know, that's exactly what happened. I don't know if uh, following the two guys who are betraying the village was the smartest idea. I, I, I don't think that was Tian's smartest moment. <laughs> and especially bringing Long Day into it. I'm like, no offense to both of y'all, but like, y'all, I, I don't know how much defense y'all can do against two. And obviously, there's probably going to be more people, you know, group of men. And uh, I, I, I had a feeling Long Tay was going to be the one getting away. And obviously, we knew who the fuck it was. We knew his, I don't even know his name, Mr. Sakata or whatever his name is. Fuck that guy too. Like, honestly, I hate, oh, I hate his stupid fucking face. He looks like a pervert. Like, his stares and stuff when he looks at T and I'm like, ugh, get your eyes off of him, bro. Like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, and of course, Pufa comes out of nowhere and saves the day, gets shot for him, takes a bullet. And I'm like, yeah, you better take that fucking bullet for him. You've been a fucking asshole. And then he has his whole little flashbacks and da da da. And it's cute, but then the episode ended and I'm like still fucking frustrated because literally, oh, the way they treat Tien pisses me off, honestly. Like, and, and just the fact that like, you know, he's doing all this because he feels guilty for having her heart and he's trying to, you know, what's the word? Represent her memory in a good way and like finish, quote unquote, what she started. And like, I know he was an asshole at first, but obviously, like, li life and death experiences or whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Close to death experiences, like, change people, you know? Like, uh, and how would you feel being compared to, like, the person who's, like, died for you to live? How would you feel if you were in that situation and people were just, like, constantly comparing you to them? Like, I, I, I can, like, sort of relate to that I'm not gonna get into that but like I have a small inkling of how that feels and it's like what the like on that kind of scale and like nobody knowing besides a certain amount of people like that's the thing like they the village should have known and it wouldn't have been that hard on him you know what I mean they probably would have understood if anything maybe even like welcomed him with open arms like yeah but I know it's complicated because it was technically his car and da 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 Obviously, I never for a second thought that Tian was the one that killed Torfun. Like, obviously, like they wouldn't do that. <laughs> they can't possibly bring him back from that, you know, negative area. Now, <clears throat> what I'm curious about is the dad. I wonder who called him. And it's like, why would they call him now? Like, you know, <laughs> Tian's fucking passed out, run into a fire. He's almost died like five fucking times in this series. And not once has anybody called the dad. Was it because he his son was held at gunpoint? Is that why they called him? Because he has a broken arm? Maybe the dad like was sending people to like f hunt down and find Tian. I know I read some spoilers, which I was really annoyed at. <laughs> They're in the comment of one of the videos, but like. And I was like, I'm not going to do it. I don't see it. I'm not going to do it. But I did it. I read the first like three sentences and I was like, fuck. But like, I I know that the book is supposed to go a certain way, but the series isn't following it exactly like even at this point. And so I'm curious as to how they're going to spin the dad and like that whole bullshit, you know. So, yeah. Ugh. I'm glad I, I had to get all this energy out. It feels good. It feels good. Now I can talk about how cute they fucking are. Man, the chief and Tian, it's like so cute because like they obviously have liked each other from like the second episode. And like, I think it's cute. This little like shy little dance they're like, you know, doing with each other. And it's like when like the chief is like, really flirty and forward Tian's like oh god but then Tian's sometimes like super forward and the chief is like oh god <laughs> it's so cute like it's so like innocent and like pure like man 
I'm so glad like Earth like finally found like a good partner. You know, like Earth has been like in these BL series like off and on, off and on. Like side character, side character, blah, blah, blah. And like I'm so happy for him to get his own series. And especially with someone he like knows so well. Like they've been friends for what, like seven years before this? Like, and they're doing so well. I know people are like, oh, it's probably going to be easier. But like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it might be, it would be harder for me. But like, I guess it just depends on the kind of relationship. Either way, I'm fucking glad that they were both cast in their roles. And I am so proud of Mix. Like, this is his first role. Like, he's like doing so good. I am like so proud of him. I, like, I'm going to follow him, whatever he does in the future. Like, I love his face. I love his acting. I love his teeth. <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> Like, I just love them together. Their chemistry is so good. And, like, I love Earth. He's such a fucking cutie. I'm so glad he got this role. He's such a good actor. Mm. <laughs> but if people bring up Toy Fun, I guess they probably won't at this point. Do you know I me? Mean? See, I'm back on my angry bullshit. <laughs> uh, every time they brought up Toy Fun, I was like, man, can y'all go s I get it. They didn't know she was passed away. I'm being irrational. I know. You don't have to tell me, okay? I know. I'm just saying I'm making this video to get my frustrations out into the world, okay? So if you're frustrated and you want to, you wanna, we, we can get together and we can go punch some villagers. <laughs> I know. They're going to have a redeeming arc. It's all going to be okay. That's how these things work. But like right now, man, I know they also, he'll also almost drown their son. Which, yeah, yeah, yikes. Hmm. <laughs> okay. If you have anything to say to me, or if you just want to, like, keyboard smash in the comments, that's totally fine, too. Hi. Bye. <laughs> okay. Ah!